Well, hello and welcome back to the vlog. It has been, I mean, it's been a while since I picked up the camera, but the last couple days have been just like the worst days ever. So to start with, I locked myself out of my Gmail account and I got myself back in and then I just had it like make a password for me and then I didn't know where it saved and I couldn't find it. And um, so then I had to, I had to wait six hours for that. And then I had to reset my password again. So I had to wait 48 hours. So I just got back into my Gmail this morning, which is great. Nothing too exciting that I missed. So at least there is that. But also here, like the internet has been worse than intermittent. It's just been so bad. And the other day, my boss was trying to fix the internet. My other boss was on the water all day and I'm like trying to answer the phone and organize things and nothing's going right. There was a mayday call that we had to respond to so then everything was late for the water taxis. It was just like, <sighs> Hi, my name's Tiffany and this summer I'll be working and living in Blind Channel, a remote community on West Thurlow Island, complete with a marina, store, restaurant, and more. Come along and join the adventure. And we've been busy, which is great, but also it's just like, Okay, okay, it kind of went from like, it started to like ramp up and now it's just like on. So like, that's, that's great. Americans are back, which is fantastic. Love to see them. And like one of my favorite couples have come back. I haven't seen them in like two years and it was so nice. I like looked at the door cause someone was coming in. I was like, oh, hello. That's my food. Give me a second. <laughs> you know what, just come with me. <laughs> so, um, I saw someone come in, I was like, hi, and then I saw who it was, I was like, oh my god, and then like, she was like, a friendly face, and we hugged, and it was so nice, and then I went and saw her husband, and so like, that's great, that's awesome, we're, it's fun, okay, what, and so like, that's nice, and my heart feels really happy and full, and wow, the lighting, there we go, that's better, um, <laughs> And so like, that's nice, but it's still just like, there's a lot going on and it's a little stressful, but we're gonna be okay probably. But I just wanted to like, highlight. <laughs> I guess like, you know, you can look outside and you can see how amazing and beautiful it is. Absolutely, there's, you can't complain about that. It is, it's amazing, it is beautiful. Like, I mean, come on, like this is my view from the porch. That's my bedroom. This is my view for my bedroom. Like, it's obscene. I know it. And I do my, love my job and everything. But that being said, there are some days that it's just like, <sighs> you just, it's just, it's just no. Some days are just a no. And so yesterday was better, although we had a boat come in super late at night. So they were going to a cabin as well. So myself and the dock attendant went down and we heard that is a brand new boat and they didn't know how to use it and that's super crooked. And um, so we're like, oh great. So they literally, they didn't even know how to use their radio. And so she was at one end of the dock, I was at the other because we're like, we got both ends covered. And I just hear, hello? <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, go ahead for Blind Channel. And they were so excited, but they were just, they're so lovely. They're just, I love them. They have a puppy. And it was so great. And so like, it's moments like that that make the moments when you can't get a hold of anybody, when the phone doesn't stop ringing, when your lineup doesn't stop. It's moments like that that make you like, okay, the world is a better place. I also got like a $50 tip today. So that was nice too. And I got a $20 tip yesterday, which is great for Mrs. Storekeeper. She doesn't get many tips. <laughs> so, you know, that's just proves that obviously I'm doing a good job for people to want to tip me. So that's great, but. <sighs> It's been hectic, it's been crazy. I'm running out of food, I need to start thinking about grocery shopping, and um, yeah. But in good news, vlogs have started going up, so that's, that was what, <sighs> that's what ended up getting me to screw up my email. I, yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> but vlogs are up, which is fantastic. This is on its way to being done. Um, I, I have to redraw in the bottom part because I wasn't happy with it, but it's going well. It is currently Friday the 13th, so it's going to be a great day. I'm sure it's going to be a great day. And yeah, I just, uh, today's been a pretty good day. Hectic, crazy lines, long lines, lots of people, but not so bad. <laughs> so anyways, I just want to pick up the camera because I feel like it's been forever. I have so much editing to do as well, but yeah, 
it's been days. It's been many days. I've actually managed to get a couple days that are just slightly over eight hours this pay period thus far. It just started. Oh my god. And there was like a baby bear on the beach with her mama and then a tourist um, found the baby and then heard the mama and so that was scary for her. She survived so that's great. Um, but then I was doing laundry that night and I was doing it for the back house because there's nobody in there right now and I was, it was like really dark and I was like on my headlamp <laughs> and then there's like a little hill that comes up from our place to there that you know used to be a path you could walk through not so much anymore because there's no staff living up at the back so we don't come down it all the time. But I look and I see two eyes reflected in my headlamp and I'm like, Maximus? Because I'm like, is it the cat? And then it starts to come forward. I'm like, oh, okay, it's Max. And then I see that it's Max is black and this is like a beige fur. And I was like, oh, a cougar. But it was a deer, but whew, got the heart pumping. So yeah, we've all been going busy. It's August, we're all crazy. <sighs> some of us are run down. Some of us are just insane. Some of us are both. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think it's going to get better from here. It's got to get better from here, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. I need to feed myself, and then I have to get back down to work. There's the, there's the duck again. Then I have to get back down to work and get things done. But, <sighs> cheers to the end of the night. Um, I feel like every day is like, how much more of a hot mess can I be? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I did not get back to the house until like 7 30 so we had a cabin coming in my goodness we're a mess we had a cabin coming in but they had they missed a ferry and then there was mechanical issues and it was just it was not great for them and so they were flying in and they ended up not getting here until 6 30 at least the um airline called us and let us know it's also when our mail got here which you know and as they were getting here another boat showed up oh, lovely people still learning how to use their boat <laughs> when they radio in they just go hello which is not standard operating procedure when you're calling into marina you're supposed to call the marina and say your boat name but you know we're working with them to get them to that point and then so my dock buddy was working on that i was meeting the people coming off the plane then you know i brought them up to their cabin i explained some things i asked them if they need to get into the store and so I was like, I'll wait for you guys like 15 minutes, like no worries, take your time. So they came down, bought some wine and stuff. And then after they left, somebody else came in and, uh, and then I got to leave. And I realized after they left that I forgot to tell them that their fishing tomorrow was gonna be in the afternoon because our guide is dying. He's just been so exhausted. He's been working like such long days. So tomorrow afternoon. So I was like, okay, I have to go past their cabin anyways. Also like super classy drinking milk out of this, right? I don't know. Anyways, so I walked behind their cabins. I dropped all my stuff behind the cabin and I came around the corner. I was like, oh, hey. Um, and I was like telling them like, oh yeah, fishing. I, I think we're gonna do it for the afternoon tomorrow. So you guys can have a chill day. And they're like, oh, that's so great. And then we ended up chatting and chatting and chatting for like probably almost half an hour. <sighs> and they're lovely and I love them. And then, I was like, okay, well, you guys have to go down for dinner in 10 minutes, so I'll leave you guys here. And then I went home, and then um, the guide was here, and he's like, are you coming? And I'm like, coming where? And then I hear my doc buddy go, it was her idea! And so we all walked out to the point together, and we just sat there for a while, and it was nice. Watched a boat come in, tie themselves up, walk up the dock, try to get into the store. Next person from the same boat also tried to open the door. Next person also tried to open the door, so we were entertained. We were entertained, like... If I'd been closer, I probably, and had my keys, I probably would have opened the store for them. But where we were was like a 10 minute walk away and I'm like, they'll be gone. <laughs> and then they like massively waked us out on the rocks. We had to move when they were leaving. But yeah, so then came home, finally ate, then like took a very long time and got in the shower and I am clean and it is glorious. And I'm gonna braid my hair in a minute here, but I just want to like, it was a long day. It was probably like nine and a half hours of work, but I only put down nine and 15 minutes because I was chatting and yes, well, schmoozing is a part of the job. Um, it's fine, whatever, it's fine. But the great thing is like everybody staying in the cabins is like so fantastic. We don't have a lot of people on the dock right now, um, but I think they're good for the most part. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it is, it is 1022. <laughs> Just having a good old time by myself. <laughs> And then I think I'm gonna get, like I said, I'm gonna braid my hair, get ready for bed here. Tomorrow's another day. 
it's going to be, I think, kind of hectic. Um, I have a lot of stock that came in today. Like I've mentioned before, like Friday is our biggest day for stock coming in. So like my case go order, which is like all my dry supplies stuff came in. Um, Friday, which is like, um, like deli meats and sausages and all that kind of stuff came in. That's already in the fridge, obviously, because it's going to go in the fridge. All our produce and fresh dairy came in. I'm almost, I don't, I'm not almost out. I'm going to run out. I can tell, I can feel it. And, um, also like Walmart stuff, so like chips and pop. I got the chips out while I was waiting for the people to come down and the pop's mostly okay. And I also got my fridge mostly refilled with pop while I was waiting. Thank God. Like, oh, I used to be open till seven and the hour from six to seven was always good for getting stuff done because everybody was at dinner or getting ready for dinner or happy hour. So I also got fleeces that came in yesterday and fleeces are a pain. I mean, anything that's new that comes in is a pain because you have to enter it all into the system, barcode it all, get it all priced, get it all folded, get it all out. So that's going to be a bit of a process tomorrow and like part of me is like that's a priority because we don't really have a lot of clothes right now but the other part of me is like I got like no food on the shelves I have so much food on the shelves but for me I'm like it's not as full as it could be so yeah so yeah it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow oh and then on top of all that you know this is this is why I think the police are a priority we have a museum group coming they're coming from the museum in the nearest town and they do like a little tour. My mom and her boyfriend did it. And then they come up here, they do lunch, then they walk around, they buy stuff and then they leave. So like if we have the fleeces, maybe they'll buy them. See, I'm thinking. Anyways, there's more work than one person can do in that store. And it was nice because I had Sharon from the Share Bear helping me on a regular basis, but her grandkids are here right now. So obviously she wants to spend time with them. So, I mean, maybe I'll text her in the morning, see if she wants to come up, but I highly doubt it. I feel like I keep going on focus. Anyways, this has just been like today, just me rambling and talking and stuff and just like, <sighs> but it's cathartic for me, I think. It feel, I feel better. Like today was a nice day with seeing people that I haven't seen for a while. And then like, just when you have like great people here, it just, it's, it's awesome. Like the, the all-inclusive group that I was talking to, they're like, we feel like family, which was nice, which, you know, which you want people to feel like family, like they belong. Anyways, I'm rambling, getting far too deep or not deep at all. I'm gonna go listen to an audiobook while I deal with this main. I didn't braid it last time and I regretted it. So we're gonna deal with that. We're shedding. And um, I'll see you in the, in the morning maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Good morning and welcome to another beautiful day. It looked like a disaster, so. I did braid my hair last night, but then I could not. And then I, I fell asleep for like an hour and then I woke up and I was so uncomfortable. I couldn't get to sleep. I took it out to see if that was a problem. It wasn't really. I had to take off my necklace. I just couldn't breathe. I was too hot. It was not enjoyable. I'm like, I had my window wide open all night. I like changed my PJs and I like got up and went outside for a couple of minutes and then I managed to fall back asleep. But didn't sleep the greatest, but here we are. We're awake, I got my breakfast drink going, and um, it is currently 8.21. <laughs> Guide has the morning off. Doc attendant is starting an hour later. This is just me this morning getting ready, I think. So that's, that's cool, that's exciting. And um, it has definitely been a struggle this morning. I just, I could sleep for like another decade. Like how I say another decade as if I slept for a decade, but no, I could use more hours of sleep, but that's fine. We're awake, we're here. And, um, yeah, I don't, um, I don't think it's gonna be too crazy of a day today. Actually, you know what? I did say it was gonna be a crazy day. There's a lot to do, but people wise, I don't think it's gonna be too bad, but who knows? Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, like we only have one to like four boats booked to come in. Granted, this might not have updated, but you know, could be okay, could be fine. But we got those fleeces to put out. We got that big group from the museum coming. At least I don't have to serve them. I just have to like, if they buy stuff, I, ha I mean, I guess I have to serve them if they buy stuff. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go keep waking up and um, well, let's uh, see how the day goes. <laughs> well, hello and welcome to the craziness. 
I am having my break, which is like leftover taco meat and tortilla chips. And um, I think I need to get back to the store quickly because my boss who normally covers my break is in town. Uh, my breakfast buddy who covers my break when he's not able to is serving lunch. Well, there's nobody else here. So we also have one employee down from exhaustion or a cold or something. Um, and we're about to have like 23, 25 people come in for lunch. Fun times. I'm dead. I am dead. It's the end of the day, but it's not. I'm stopping to eat food, have dinner, and then I have to go back and clean the laundry suite. And my dinner is going to be some bacon and french fries because I just, I need to cook the bacon and I do not have the energy to do anything else. So let's get a fork for flipping. Maybe a longer one. Mmm, bacon. It's just bacon. It's good. Okay. I really just feel half dead. The last hour was a struggle. I was hungry. I was tired. It was hot. <sighs> I am struggling today, so I think I'm going to listen to my audiobook and then eat dinner and then go clean the laundry suite and then go to sleep. I got something in my eye. It's fantastic. We're falling apart. It's mid-August. We are falling apart. All of us. Collectively. I don't think there's one person that's not falling apart. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Tomorrow's another day. But anyways, I will check in with you along the way. If I can, like, make my brain do the thinking things. Which is questionable. Oh, that stupid eye. <laughs> It's a thing. <sighs> okay, I'm done for the night. I have no more work to do. It is currently 8.02. Ugh. And um, it's still really bright outside. I think I need to go like, <sighs> I don't really want to shower, but I'm super sweaty, so like maybe I should have a quick shower and just like chill out. But also I'm in my PJs and eventually I'll stop sweating. So what's the point? <laughs> okay, it's so like maybe not the best idea but it is what it is i am gassed i know i've said it several times but i am gassed so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a little bit of time to transfer some footage like some videos from my hard drive to my laptop so i can watch some more psych and then i think we call it a day we call it a vlog so thanks for watching and um See you in the next one. <laughs>